Last week, Prime Minister Stefan Lofven became the first leader in Swedish history to be ousted in a parliamentary no-confidence vote. He was given seven days to resign or call a snap election. With one year left until the next scheduled election and the extraordinary situation the country is in with the pandemic, a snap election is not the best thing for Sweden. The Speaker of the Swedish Parliament will now begin talks with the leaders of all parties to see if a coalition government can be formed. But the job won't be easy. Currently, the left-leaning parties and the centre-right bloc each hold about 40% of the seats, and neither side wants to cooperate with the Sweden Democrats, a right-wing populist party. Lofven, who leads Sweden's largest party, is hopeful he can corral enough cross-party support to continue as Prime Minister. I am available to lead a government that the parliament can tolerate. My party and myself are ready to shoulder the responsibility and together with other constructive forces continue to lead the country forward. Since 2018, Lofven has been ruling Sweden in a shaky centre-left coalition with the Green Party. However, it relied on the support of two small centre-right parties and the Left Party to get legislation through Parliament. But the Left Party withdrew its backing over government proposals to end a rent cap on new-build apartments. It then supported the right-wing Sweden Democrats in passing last week's vote of no confidence. For longer, they voted out the government without having a government alternative themselves. Back in 2018, it took four months of coalition negotiations to produce a government after the national election failed to produce a clear winner. But it's hoped it will take just two weeks this time. We have this uh, experience now from the, from the autumn in 2018, and the parties know quite well uh, where they stand uh, because nothing has changed in the parliament, actually. The Speaker will be given four attempts to find a new government. If he fails, a snap election must be called. Sarah Morris, TRT World.